Hey, do you want to learn how to put together a simple, wonderful slideshow just like the one you're watching right now? Let's stay with me. I'll show you how. So before we get into the video, make sure you smash the subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I subscribed and we will try our best to respond to as many comments as we can and personally on this video. So have you subscribed? If you haven't, smash that button right now. Alright, let's get started. In order to pull off an effect like this, we need pictures. So. The first thing we need to do is to drag down uh, one of them and use it as our background. So we're going to use this as our background so you can expand it how long you want. You can expand it one minute, two minutes, depending on your pictures. So in order to get rid of all this black side, right click on it, go to crop to fit and click on crop to fit and as you can see it has it has expanded and covered up everything. Now, this is our background. The next thing we need to do is to drag down one of our images. Make sure you leave a space in the uh, in the front, just a little space. Now we can we can expand it, expand it to the end. And the next thing we need to do is to add border to our image. So go to effects, uh, go to utility and type border and then drag it and drop it on the image now as you can see our image has border now now let's go to the property let's try to adjust the border so now let's adjust let's adjust the picture we click on the picture and to bring you to this uh, area let's adjust it reduce the picture let's use 80 you can use uh, any number you want, just make it smaller. So let's go to video. Let's adjust the, the border. So we're going to change the color. You can leave it as white if that's what you want. But I want to change this color, change the lower one. We can also change the upper one. It's, um, I don't like this much. I'll go and change it to something like um yeah let's look for yellow yeah that's right i love it this way so we're done with our we're done with our border so let's click away now the next thing we need to add we need to add um let's take a look at it let's see how it is okay it's cool so we need to add animation so double click on it and go to motion now you can pick anyone you want depending on how you want the movement to be but i'm gonna choose something like um let's see let's see what works just double click on it and to show how it is if you're if you're cool with it then you move forward now the next thing we need to do, we need to drag then another image. I remember, make sure you leave a space before you drop the other image on it. So let's go back and drag then our second image, drop it right there and you expand it. So instead of going through all the process all over again, all you need to do is just double click, right click on the, on the first one and copy effect and go back to our prison image and right click and paste it right there and it will apply the border and the movement and everything so you don't need to do it manually or over again so let's adjust it let's adjust it so good now rotate it a little bit so that yeah rotate it just the way you want it then Drag down another image, expand it, right click on it, then paste effects, the one you copied from, from the previous one, and go back to double click on it, double click on the image, then go back to the, uh, the property there, then you adjust it. 
that's rotated a little bit adjust it yes right there you just drag that and adjust if you're okay if you're satisfied with it click ok and drag down the next image so the same thing you do for all your images you have 20 images or more you can do the same thing following the process you drag it down after applying the the effects all you need to do when you're done with the first one you copy it and paste it in all the other images and you go you adjust it you rotate it a little bit so that it should be exactly the way you want it so just go through and and get done with the other ones I'm gonna fast forward it a little bit All right, when we're done with all the images, adjust everything, just go through it and make sure everything is just the way you want it. Then pre-render it just to make the playback faster. All right, that's done. So let's go through it and see how it is. Click play. Yes yes isn't it wonderful yes well we're not done yet there's a lot of things we can do the next thing we're going to do is to add effect to it if you don't have it it's not you mustn't do it but it will add flavor to it so if you have some sound effects we can add it to it so i'm going to add the ones i have to all to the images where the start where the images started from i'll go ahead and add all the sound effects to all of them you can do the same and if you don't have sound effects you can always download it from the internet and if you don't need it just just do without it you apply all the images and adjust the sound make sure it's not too loud or too slow just it should be just okay okay just listen to it listen to it and make sure it's exactly the way you want it if it's too loud just double click on it go to the parameter and adjust it just the way you want it it's as simple as that so you can double click on it go to go up there and adjust it double click on each and every one of them and do the same thing to them until you get the sound just the way you want it make sure it's not too loud and definitely not too so when you're done you can go through it and see how it is the next thing we're gonna add we can add transition to it you don't have to do it but it makes that flavor to it so just double click on each of the transition and see how it is how it plays then you apply it to to your images one after the other i think this is cool so i'm gonna render it um to make it play faster And you can go back and listen to it now we're not done we can add background music so drag down your back background music and apply it there and listen to it if it's too loud just double click on it and adjust it just listen to it you'll not hear mine but when we're done you hear the final the final results now this is this is too long so I'm going to cut it right there, click that, then delete it. And this one is too loud, double click it, then you adjust the sound. Bring it down so that it so that it's not too loud, then adjust the edges so that it starts smoothly fade in and fade out. When you're done, it's time to test it. So, uh, let's see the final product. Voila! Here is the final product. Isn't it 
and trust them it's just it's as simple as just click this click that i hope you enjoy it and go ahead and do now so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so and like share and leave a comment below and click on the video on the screen right now for more see you in the next video thank you for watching